Hello everyone, Cubologist here, and today you're actually watching OLL training episode number 4, and in this episode we're going to cover OLL cases number 43, 40, and 39 in that order. Alright guys, so in the last episode, I told you that today's algorithms might contain a few moves that would make you use your left hand. And with that in mind, we're going to start off with OLL number 43. Now I don't have a name for this case, but I do know its shape. And let's get familiar with it. What you're looking for is this B shape on the left hand side. This is actually easy to get confused with the OLL number 44 that we covered in the last episode. But the way you tell them apart is, you have the yellow bar on the right, and you have the B shape here, instead of the P. So you look for the B shape on the left side, and the yellow bar on the right. And then you do this following algorithm. An F prime with your left hand. Then you do a sexy move, but with your left hand. So it's L prime, U prime, L, U. Then you undo your setup move with a small f. And then your layer is oriented. Now I'm not the best with my left hand, but I can get it done quicker than doing the two look case. Okay, the next two algorithms that I'm going to cover are actually a pair, and they're mirrors of each other. This one is called anti-fung, f-u-n-g, and the second one I'm going to cover is called fung. Now I think those names should be reversed, but that's because I prefer my right hand. Anti-fung is a lot of right hand moves, where fung is left hand moves, and they're exact mirrors of each other. So let's go over anti-fung first. Now the way I recognize OLL number 40, or anti-fung, is I see this shape oriented on the top of the cube, and then on the back there are two pieces facing away. So. A trick to distinguishing between anti-fung and fung is when you have these two pieces on the back of your cube, whichever side they're on, that's the hand that you start with. So in this case, you're going to be using your right hand. And this is the algorithm. R prime, F, then you do the sexy move, R, U, R prime, U prime, then you do F prime, U, R, and that will orient your layer. And I'm just learning these, but here's how I execute it. Okay, and the last case I'm going to cover today is OLL number 39. It's called Fung. The way I recognize this case is very similar to the previous one. You look for this shape on the top, and you look for two oriented pieces in the back. And in this case, they're on the left side, letting you know that you're going to do the exact same algorithm but mirrored with your left hand. And here's the algorithm. L, F prime, L prime, U prime, L, U, F, U prime, L prime. And that will orient your layer. Now I am very slow at this algorithm because I'm not good with my left hand and I've just learned it. But this is how I execute it. Just remember, with both of these cases, you start out with whatever hand the block side is on. So this one would be right hand, you pull forward and push down to start it off. Then you do the sexy move, then you do, you bring this up, twist it around, and push it up. And it's the same with the left handed version. You see what side your block's on, you pull forward with your left hand and push down, then you do the sexy move or Lexi move I guess. <laughs> you push this bar up, you straighten it, and bring this up. And it's as easy as that guys. It should be easy to remember once you get that general pattern down. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We're only four episodes in and we've already covered 14 OLLs. So if you want to keep up with us and keep learning, just go ahead and subscribe 
and tomorrow or maybe later on today we'll actually be covering the wide soon cases now these are just like the first two algorithms we learned soon and anti soon except there is a little modification at the beginning so i hope to see you soon bye